One of Hollywood's greatest icons, someone who's been on the silver screen since the 1950s and has directed over 35 movies, may finally be calling it a day on his long-spanned career. It appears that actor and director Clint Eastwood may finally be retiring from the movie industry. This is no surprise considering the director is almost 93 years old and directed and starred in his most recent film, Cry Macho, which came out in 2001. Ultimately, that film looked at being a flop, only making around $15 million on a $33 million budget, and apparently the head of Warner Brothers, David Saslav, was very unhappy with that film going ahead, stating that they don't owe anyone any favours, despite Clint Eastwood working at Warner Brothers for quite some time. However, it seems that David Saslav has come around to the idea of Clint Eastwood doing his final picture at Warner Brothers, despite the underperformance of Cry Macho. To be honest though, as that film came out in 2021 and was released in cinemas at a time where films were still getting back on their feet, as well as it being shown on HBO Max at the same time, that is likely to have affected its final box office numbers. Whilst Clint Eastwood has hinted that he would have retired before, he did state that Gran Torino, which came out in 2008, was going to be the last time he starred in a movie. The director said he would still go on to direct films, but his time in front of the camera was over. However, that turned out not to be true, as he went on to star and direct many other movies. Eastwood went on to direct and star in Cry Macho, which I've already mentioned, The Mule. Eastwood also had a small uncredited role in American Sniper, which he also directed, and then he went on to star in a movie called Trouble with the Curve. As for films after directing Gran Torino, he just directed Invictus, Hereafter, J. Edgar, Jersey Boys, American Sniper, Sully, The 1517 to Paris, The Mule, Richard Jewell, and Cry Macho. The news of Eastwood directing this movie come from DiscussingFilm.net. An excerpt from the article says, as for the plot of Clint Eastwood's final film, sources say he is working on a thriller that is currently titled Jura No. 2. The story is said to follow a Jura on a murder trial who realises that he may have caused the victim's death and must grapple with the dilemma of whether to manipulate the jury to save himself or reveal the truth and turn himself in. The article goes on to say, while sources say Eastwood is definitely looking to direct, what cannot be certain is Eastwood sticking to the idea of this being his final film. Even though this is how the project is being internally billed, there's still a small chance that Eastwood decides to take on another feature after Jura No. 2. Eastwood does seem to be in great health for his age and still have the stamina to direct and star in movies. It's really somewhat unheard of as of directors being this old and still pumping out films. Being in his early 90s, it wouldn't surprise me that this is going to be his last film to direct, but then again, I think other directors such as Ridley Scott, who's still going and he's only 85 years old and only a few years younger. And even in a video I talked about with Stanley Kubrick with the Steven Spielberg turning his unmade Napoleon movie into a miniseries, like if Kubrick was still alive, he'd only be two years older than Clint Eastwood is now. And obviously uh, Kubrick died uh, in 1999 and we could have got a few more films if he could have had the longevity that Clint Eastwood has had. But it's, it's not really fair to speculate on that if I'm honest, but I just thought I would mention it. Like I said earlier, Eastwood had initially said that Gran Torino was going to be the last time he starred in a movie, but he did say he would go on to direct other movies. Although, as I've mentioned, that he did go on and star and direct in films after Gran Torino. Eastwood is said to be a very competent filmmaker and that he's able to get the films in under budget and do them really quickly. He's famous for just doing one take. There's a story about Matt Damon on the set of Invictus and he wanted to do a second take and Eastwood simply said to him, why do you just want to waste everybody's time? So I think Eastwood is just having such a long career and had the experience as an actor, seeing other directors work and then directing many films across his long career, has the experience and the skill to just get things done. It's really only like these big budget films that have like six months worth of shooting, but you know other smaller budget films and films that don't revolve around big special effects or big action sequences can be filmed a lot quicker. 
and I think that you know you could film something like a courtroom drama which this Cura number two is sort of being labelled as in just a few weeks. I don't think Eastwood will go on to star in this movie, he may have like an uncredited role like he did in American Sniper. At almost 93 years old though I think Eastwood does want to just retire, he's worked very hard over the last few years and you know looking at Gran Torino which came out almost 15 years ago and we said that was going to be his last film and it turned out not to be. I think it would be good to see him finally retire and just sort of look back at the legacy and sort of the impact he's had on cinema since the 1950s. I do think there is a good chance that this is going to be the final film he directs but like the article says never say never and I do love these Eastwood movies. I haven't seen Cry Macho yet but I really enjoyed The Mule and I really enjoyed Gran Torino. I think Gran Torino is one of my favourite movies of all time and I've watched quite a few Eastwood movies over the years. I can't name all of the ones I've seen off the top of my head but if I just go through like his filmography on IMDb I am able to tick a lot of them off my list of having seen them and thoroughly enjoyed them. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on Eastwood finally retiring and doing one more movie and if you think this is going to be good and let me know what your favourite Clint Eastwood movie is both as a director and that he starred in over the years. Let me know in the comments below, please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. Thanks for tuning in.